So after a week of uh, pretty hard traveling, we are now in Page on the Spice Island of Zanzibar. Yeah, the ferry ride over here yesterday was uh, very smooth as well. I sat next to a lovely guy called Power of God 412, uh, who was very chatty. The drive over here was pretty spicy too. The roads are quite dangerous, but we're here now and it's uh, absolutely beautiful. Uh, just off in the village to get some provisions. Uh, let's see what the day holds. It's quite a bit going on. Very good advice. Found the local like here. So these are our new digs. Pretty decent. So we've now both uh, taken our first dip in the Indian Ocean. First time we've seen it since uh, as many weeks ago in Strasby. How was it though? Oh, it's like it's like lying in a warm seaweedy bath. Very pleasant. So it is uh, day two in Zanzibar, and uh, we yesterday we were on the beach and we both felt the harsh sting of the sun. Uh, we're both very very sunburned. Very sunburned. But we're just yeah chilling in the shade for now. About to have some lunch. Uh, but yeah, it's a beautiful day, it's very hot. Uh, so, enjoying our tropical life, I think it's fair to say. So it is later in day two and I have been uh, forced to take shelter in bed because... Because uh, feeling lousy, I don't know whether it's just like a bit of a drop after the end of traveling or whether I've got some disease, but yeah, not feeling great. So just gonna get a couple of hours rest. Well, it's now just coming up to six o'clock, thanks to the attentive care of my loving nurse, Estelle feeling a little bit better, strong enough to leave my bed and head out for a sundowner. Hopefully, it won't have too bad an effect on me. We shall see. Uh, not a bad place to be stricken. So, this is a gin based cocktail. It's, I can't what it's called, but it's the Swahili word for medicine. So, hopefully, this is going to make our boy soldier feel a lot better. Uh, it's just been out of action all day. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty tasty. So, oh, yeah. it is. So, it is uh, day three in Padre, and uh, yes, I have made a miraculous recovery. Uh, feeling much better now. I don't know whether it was sunstroke, food poisoning, whatever it was, it's gone. Back on the bike, back on the wagon, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, we're, uh, we've just come into the village in a hunt for books, because we both finished our books and there's no book swap at the hostel. So we're uh, gonna try and see if we can find something good to read. And then it's the beach probably, but much more wary of the sun this time. The trip into town was okay, like we couldn't find any bookshops and we're just going to maybe try and find one at a hostel, one of the uh, books up at another hostel. We also were looking for some new SIM cards, but the only place we could see was this like dodgy looking place called Mr. SIM card, which we decided to avoid. We did also finally manage to change our uh, Mozambique Metical, uh, although we got properly shafted on the exchange rate, but uh, hey, it's kind of free money as someone gave it to us. so. Uh, buy us a taxi ride or a nice drink or a meal somewhere, so you can't complain. Cheers. Possibly, you possibly can't see this because the iPhone is terrible at picking up the moon, but over there there is uh, an incredible moon rise, but mm, you really can't tell. <laughs> So today is our last full day in Page and uh, we're just going to wander down the beach to the cleverly named Zanzibar Easter for a coffee uh, and do some work on our laptops and do some life admin but uh, yeah pretty pretty nice life admin it is too. Hard at work. Mm. One thing that does have to be said about Page Beach is that you do get an awful lot of porkers um, coming to 
ask you to go on tours or to look at their shops or do things like that and uh, you know much as I'll miss Mr Happiness and Daniel the Maasai and uh, all the various other people who come and harangue us every day uh, it will be nice to potentially go somewhere where uh, you can just walk on the beach quietly uninterrupted I mean this actually this stretch now is uh, pretty good in terms of not getting interrupted so very nice so we just had lunch in our last full day on Pudgy Beach and yeah I'm gonna gonna miss this place for sure but man I tell you the sun is a hot one I feel like I can share we're both pretty sweaty right now um, but yeah it's just absolutely gorgeous here and whatever we end up wherever we end up tomorrow you know hopefully it'll be as good if not better we'll soon see So this morning we got up and left our uh, lovely surrounds in Page Beach. Took a bit of a gamble. We've headed further north on the island to uh, Kilimanjaro, and we're where we're staying at uh, Sky and Sand. And uh, our gamble uh, has absolutely paid off. It is amazing, uh, and this beach is quite incredible. Uh, we've just arrived about half an hour ago, so we're just going to go for a little walk, try and find something to eat. off for a spot of lunch and uh, yeah still kind of buzzing uh, the fact that this is our new home for the next three days I think it's gonna be a very nice three days indeed happy very happy and that there is our resort as seen from the beach so this is our new room We've got a balcony pool views and that's not even the best of it this is the best bit we are right on the seafront and it's gorgeous. Over there, Member Island, although I'm pretty sure it's not pronounced like that. Unparalleled grace and beauty. staying at like a high-end resort for £20 a night. Um, so it's largely one of the Yeah, I mean, the old place was lovely, but uh, this place is even lovelier. We've absolutely made the right decision here. We have uh, run out of sun cream, so today's mission is to walk down the beach. We've got ourselves all wrapped up and covered up against the sun as best we can because it's very hot here. Um, but yeah, we're just going to walk down the beach to the nearest town. Should be about two kilometres away, uh, and hopefully there will be somewhere where we can get some sunscreen. You can see here the Maasai staked out, ready to sell their wares to the unsuspecting people. See the Maasai warrior relentlessly hunt his prey. 
until she has no choice but to submit and buy a bracelet. But fortunately, we know the code to defeat them, which is basically just later, and then they give up and go away. So you go, maybe later, and they vanish. Despite the scorching hot weather, Zoe respectfully dressed as local tradition demands a, a good tourist. And as soon as I hit the beach again, this is coming off the scorching. Well, we have uh, achieved success. We have the uh, sun cream here, but it has come at a price. It cost about a tenner, so that's uh, pretty dear. Let's hope it works. The rains have come, and so we hunker down on our balcony. So, working hard. So after enjoying an utterly thrilling uh, Liverpool Fulham game, we're just about to watch the Man City game, uh, Man City Spurs, but uh, we've been struck by a power cut. Hopefully that sound is the generator coming on, um, but otherwise we're just going to be drinking beers and eating tagine in the dark. Ooh. This game has got two points for Harlan written all over it. And I'm not happy about that. Because I captained him. Maybe it gets my better judgment, or maybe not, but it's 30, 40 minutes on the clock when you're saying this. Yeah, but it's made some mistakes. It's made some mistakes. Should have got Foden in. Frustrating. The life of a fantasy football manager is frustrating, but it's the life you chose. There's more, there's more, more, there's more. more, there's more. Okay. It's the life you chose, and we must pursue with it. That's what that's their thing, that's what happened to us. So last night after the football finished, things took a slight turn for the worse. Um, we paid for the taxi driver to take us there and pick us up, um, but he never turned up to pick us up. So that was a bit annoying and uh, my phone was out of battery so we couldn't get a hold of him. And a security guard at the place called a taxi um, and they turned up and wanted to charge us $20 for a 10 minute journey. So we told them where to go. Um, so we were kind of stranded there a little bit and then we managed to flag down a little tuk tuk driver who um, brought us back to our hotel for a reasonable price. So it ended quite well, but yeah, we've learned a few lessons and a few things that we're going to make sure we always do now just to stop uh, ourselves being in a situation like that again because I imagine it'll crop up a few more times on this trip. Jesse enjoying his breakfast with our new friend mm. here with Chris and Sky because we don't know what his real name is. He's very sweet but he loves to beg. Mercenary. Absolutely. So they have a book swap here at the resort um, but unfortunately the only book that is in English is Jeremy Clarkson. Um, and I'm not gonna swap a book for that. And I'm not gonna turn up anywhere else with a Clarkson book. So uh, sorry, Jezza. Well, sorry, both Jezzas. So it is about quarter to six in the morning. And uh, because it's one of our last days here on the east side of the island, we have got up to watch the sunrise. It's beautiful. It was worth getting up at 5.30 to see for sure. What's your plan for today? My plan for today is to turn and read and that's it.
So today is our last day at the Sky and Sand Resort and as a special treat, uh, Michael, the manager, has uh, given his beloved uh, Mr. Jez and Miss Zoe uh, an upgrade to a sea view room. So this is our new room. Um, and if we go out here, you can see we've got a pretty good view. So yeah, uh, very happy about that. Thanks, Michael. This is a pretty good spot to relax. I feel like I've said that about everywhere we've been, but we've been here for seven days. We feel like we've we... always been here. So... <laughs> we, feel like, we feel like we live here now. It's been very, very chill. It's been really lovely to not move anywhere for a week and to just completely switch off. And we're now ready for the next uh, adventure, which is going to start now. Hi, this is uh, Future Jess and Zoe. Uh, so we've just realised that this video is going to land on Christmas Day. So, Merry Christmas to everyone who is watching and a Happy New Year! And you can find out what we get up to for Christmas and New Year uh, in the next video or possibly the one after depending on how long the edit turns out. Um, but yeah, Happy Christmas and Happy New Year!